Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Note for students, enjoy some everyday useful caps and context. Not for others, enjoy, that's all. You're feeling out of sorts recently. That recently could be just a couple of days, weeks, months, or prolongs to years. You're changing. The things that used to be your cup of tea now taste like a cup of misery. You think you're sailing in the sea of despair alone, but waves blow away old masks and you find that others are in the same boat too. Others who you would never click with, talk to, be friends with. At that moment of naked truth, you find that their pale faces resemble your soul. The way they lumber is similar to how your life has been going on, and their voices sound exactly like her past cries for help. You all raised the sail of sadness and carried that long journey of life on. One night, the stars show you another way, and you're like, is sad bad? In our society, we're constantly striving to feel positive emotions, only positive emotions, happiness, joy, peace. We see sadness and unhealthy and wrong. So when we feel it, we feel unhealthy and wrong rather than, you know, just being sad. We have a real difficulty identifying this emotion. I mean, yeah, advertising and social media play a huge role in this image making. Open your Facebook or scroll down in your Instagram and it's all about good vibes only, choose happy, positive mood on, and blah blah blah. But you're not a downer and you're not a negative person. You're just not feeling, seeing, or getting closer to those good, happy, positive vibes anymore. So we start to see sadness as an emotion to avoid at all costs. And honestly, we do try to avoid it at all costs. And sometimes we tend to bottle it up, assuming after the rain comes the rainbow. But sadness is actually a good thing. It's actually a vital, valuable emotion. And it's critical that we carve out time to listen to it. Sadness is your soul crying for help. In other words, sadness can guide us toward the direction we need to go to create a more meaningful, connected, fulfilling life. Sadness isn't pointless. When you sit with your sadness, you realize it has many stories to tell you. Stories about your needs and longings, Stories about loved ones you'll never stop loving or missing. Stories that are meaningful for you to explore and used to help you make important decisions. So yeah, sadness is that alarm that alerts us to how we need to treat ourselves and also as to how we want to be treated by others. Other times, sadness is a sign of something we want to change, of an opportunity to grow and learn about ourselves on a deeper level. It makes us realize that we're probably lonely and we'd like to connect more with others. It makes us realize that our relationship just isn't working and we need to figure it out. It makes us realize our job is not working out and we need to find a better one. So yeah, sadness is our map to the right path that perhaps we drifted away from. The best part about feeling sad though, when I share or listen to other people's sadness. I'm more likely to understand their sad stories and they're more likely to understand mine. And this understanding can be the cure itself. Allow yourself to be sad. Being a cheerful personality is something great, I know. But you don't have to be up or positive all the time, especially when it's raining on your heart. Sadness is just love with no place to go. For all the friends feeling down at the moment, don't worry, you're just being a human.